like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you carrying drugs I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question you. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. You to go to the police station. What? What? How? What address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes away. What's yes. What's the address of the police precinct? When you uh, will catch your next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help, but... For, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk... Said they will help to try to get you there. Quickly. They'll help to try to get me to yes. my show? So you How? Get very quickly. Uh, to do it as soon as possible. But we what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I you never gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm, oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Stop filming now. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? You have to go inside. Huh? What you said? Can you please stop filming? Please just step in the car for us. No, I need a lawyer. But I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer at the office. You can contact the lawyer. But if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in, the, in, this, in this vehicle? So please step he in will the go car. with you. Tell me again. The police officer told me we have to offload all the luggage okay. and to search everything of okay. your luggage. I'm so sorry to, to say that. But isn't that what you planned on doing from the get-go? Why didn't you guys search it before it went on the plane? Uh, they did a, just a random a quick check, but now they want to open Why? it. Why? First of all, because you filmed him and he was like because i filmed bit, him yeah he was like uh he, do, he do, doesn't believe me that you don't have more with you than you say no he asked me do i have any more in those purses and i said no and yeah. i asked him where are my bags they took my bags and put it on the plane before i could know what bags are on the plane i see yeah so i'm so sorry for that okay of course so this is what we have so far what is the weed tolerance in Amsterdam? At the heart of Amsterdam's cannabis law is the Dutch tolerance policy established in the 1970s. The groundbreaking policy decriminalizes the possession and sale of small quantities of cannabis, making Amsterdam a haven for cannabis enthusiasts. Despite cannabis being illegal in the Netherlands, the country has long maintained a policy of tolerance, allowing coffee shops to operate legally, even though cultivation remains prohibited. As for the coffee shops, residents like Els Lipping are demanding that the city simply apply the law. According to the Dutch law, cannabis can be sold only to people who are resident in the Netherlands. Until now, Amsterdam has essentially tolerated consumption of cannabis by non-residents. A crime to possess, cultivate, produce, and transport cannabis in the Netherlands. It is also illegal for Dutch coffee shops like those in Amsterdam to sell it unless they obey government rules. So I'm going to say this, um, more than likely, if it is found or if she was carrying any type of narcotics directly on her person or on those bags that came directly from wherever to where her location is at this moment in time, she's probably going to get charged. Right. But 
realistically uh, because who is backing her because of the record labels and the executives people will pull some strings pretty much nothing is going to happen again she's a celebrity she's worth you know multi millions of dollars if not maybe hundreds of millions of dollars nothing is going to happen then on top of that you know you also have the fan base which i'm pretty sure that they will try to cause some type of ruckus and get her free <laughs> i'm not sure how they'll do it but i'm pretty sure um you know they would do it and the other thing too is this is why i consistently tell people that if you go to a different country make sure you learn the laws make sure you know where it is that you are because you had nikki over there acting as if she was in the united states it's not the united states this is a whole another area right you're dealing with a whole another system whole another group of people so you know this is why it is imperative for when people travel when americans travel you learn and you also respect the country or the area of which you are in you do your best to try to uh obey um and learn those laws and stay directly to those laws because unlike in her instance where she's worth millions of dollars and she can have a and r whoever throw her a lawyer real quick you as an ordinary person cannot go over there and get away and do this you will be thrown directly in jail or prison or subjected to whatever laws that they have or whatever harsh penalties they decide to set directly on you and the only people that will be able to free you would be the united states government but the question would be are you that important for the government to actually care about the answer is no so you know again this is very interesting that this is going on considering everything else that is happening at this moment in time also considering the fact that we got the bird flu just saw that recently and i'm like huh we got all of these things transpiring and happening at this moment in time and the main thing that people are going to talk about is the celebrity news the other thing that i want to point out to you guys as well is the fact that we've had an abundance we've been inundated pretty much with a lot of celebrity news but we haven't been inundated with things that are actually important with things that can affect your life your day-to-day -day, your paycheck your home your anything right no important type of laws no rules or regulations that will uh you know help the betterment of people remember it wasn't that long ago that they were like hey unanimously united states government was like hey we're going to get rid of tiktok they can do that but they can't unanimously come together in order to help out the american people they can come together to get rid of tiktok but they can't come together to help me and you or to better this country so like i said you know people just need to you know stay live and stay up on a lot of the things that are transpiring especially the things that aren't getting talked about but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video